So it took Intel plenty of time to respond to Ryzen, but they finally are responding, at least with their new product lines, Maybe not so much their old pricing on things like the 7700K, but hey, a win's a win, right? So here's some quick thoughts on Intel's upcoming enthusiast class processors. In my mind, the single biggest problem that AMD presented to Intel when it first launched its Ryzen processors and then continued this, by the way, with Ryzen 5 was giving consumers a lot of core counts, both thread and actual physical cores in the 6 and 8 core variants and doing it at a very reasonable price, especially if you look on the low end at things like the 1600 at $220 or even the eight core low end, which is currently around $315 for the 1700. So naturally Intel's responded with announcing a lot of new processors that are at least a little bit more affordable with higher core and thread counts and headlining that group will be the 7820X, which is an eight core and 16 thread i7 and it will go directly up against the Ryzen 7 line of processors, especially the 1800X. So here's a quick rundown. The i7 offers the exact same core and thread counts as the 1800X, the 1700X, and the 1700, and it does it at just $100 more than the 1800X. Sounds like a pretty good deal, right? Well, for enthusiasts, it potentially is a great deal in that it does bring the price premium that you pay for an Intel high thread and core count processor way down. However, it is worth pointing out, even though it's only $100 more than the 1800X, if you are willing to overclock a Ryzen 7 1700, it's still a tremendously large premium because you can have those for about $315 right now versus that $599 price tag. That being said, it is nice to see that Intel is being brought at least a little bit more in line with the current trends in the market uh, being pushed by AMD, especially with those, again, high thread and core count processors. It's really nice to see Intel's pricing get pulled down by Ryzen, even though Intel does still have a lead in both instructions per clock. And ultimately, at least after all this is said and done, it looks like their uh, thread and core counts will still also be higher than the Ryzen line. And yes, I am taking into account the Threadripper 16 core 32 thread monster that AMD is coming out with. And to regain that aforementioned thread and core count lead, Intel is launching the i9-7980XE, which is a behemoth 18 core and 36 thread part. And yeah, it's just gonna be hugely expensive at $2,000. Now details are pretty sparse on this processor so far, but we do know that it will have 44 PCI Express lanes. And we also know that it will run on the new X299 chipset in the LGA 2066 socket. But as with all other $2,000 processors, unless you are some sort of professional or you're just a crazy enthusiast that happens to have plenty of money to spend, and by the way, no judgment if you do. Most people will want to avoid this processor because with such high thread and core counts, it's not like it's giving you extra streaming capability. No, 18 cores and 36 threads is way overkill even for that application. So really, unless you have a specific, heavily multi-threaded, extremely intensive task in mind, this processor is probably better left on the sideline, at least for the vast majority of people. But of course, we shouldn't leave without mentioning that the i9 line is not just the 18 core and 36 thread processors. They do come in 10, 12, 14, 16, and of course the 18 core variants. So there is a spot that sort of everybody can at least aspire to dream about, maybe. Although I will personally not be owning one because I am not made of money. So those are my kind of quick thoughts on the new Intel lineup that was announced. You can also leave your comments down below and tell me what you think about Intel's upcoming processors. And as always guys, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, as I already said, down below. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, we'll let YouTube queue up another video from my channel. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you